felt there's one of those golden age, old school bars, and there aren't a lot of places in Nashville with this type of history. This is what it's about right here at the Summit. People love to see live music, and when you're in this town, where you have the best musicians in the world, the best musicians in the world play right here on this stage. It's the vibe of the music, because they just get caught up into the magic of what happens within these four walls. It's places like Tootsie's, Loveless Cafe, Bluebird. In a city like Nashville that's growing so fast, a lot of historic bars don't survive. And it was really important for us to bring the Sutler back to life as a 40-year-old bar and give it a new home. When we were developing the Melrose, we knew we wanted to do some special places here. And I had been to the Sutler 37 years ago is when I started, and we just I just thought it would be a great idea to bring the Sutler back. I think anybody coming from out of town and uh, when they step through the doors can really get the Nashville experience without the hustle and bustle of downtown Nashville. The music here really celebrates the history and range of what Nashville has to offer. When they come to Nashville, and they're like, whoa, this is amazing. Like, this is country music city. It makes me feel like I'm a part of history. When you're resurrecting a significant piece of Nashville history, it's important to hang on to those amazing moments from the past. But new things happen every day that remind us of these legendary roots. We're a neighborhood bar, but we'll see these famous artists walk through the door who played here before they got their first big record deal. Willie Nelson and Marty Stewart, Garth Brooks, Keith Urban, Amy Lou Harris, the list just goes on and on. 10 years ago I came here, it was like my first gig in Nashville with a band Shooter Jennings and we got signed out of this place and then uh, then it closed down for a long time and then they, when they reopened it a year later, here I am playing Saturdays. My first time on the stage was in this version and uh, I love it. I mean, just the way they've got it, the sound is good. And you find a lot of big venues in town. The first thing they throw out, I think the first thing to go when they start upping in is, is the sound. And the Sutlers just kept it true. When you can hear what you're doing, that is everything, you know? And uh, we just try and put out put out good sound, man. It's just a good hang in here. And, and the, the music being good, I just feel like that's a bonus. And what it feels like in here on a Saturday night, it's, it's kind of a, melting pot of locals, folks from out of town, experiencing, you know, a legendary venue. I would come here to drink all my time off happily. What I love is that I can kind of come into a position and say, you know, I'm here and I'm new and I'm in the era of this place. It's, it's kind of on a revival scale. It's, this is the revival of a legend. A lot of people like to see new things. Some people are scared of change, but when they see this change, they're totally for it. We've just continued to add more history. People 40 years from now will see the history that we put into it. The vibe, of course, the food is amazing. And I see people coming in for that because the Sutler has a rep for great food and great atmosphere. I see them coming in for that and staying for the music. It's a really fun neighborhood bar. It's a great place to have lunch or come in and have some drinks, but there's something different because of the history.